interesting concept, right? He was able to turn a hundred bucks into thirteen, almost fourteen hundred dollars in one day. What are your thoughts on this idea of just saying, "Hey, ChatGPT, make me rich"? Well, there's several different parts of this that I think that are interesting. All right, welcome back, everybody, to making money with AI. And so, I want to kind of share this. This guy's name is Jackson Greathouse Fall. And he basically asked ChatGPT to turn $100 into as much money as possible. In less than a week, he started a website about eco-friendly products. And then we're going to talk about how he used ChatGPT and other AI tools to start his business. So imagine just asking a super brain, right, James? Hey, what's the best way to make a lot of money fast? That's what he did. So since OpenAI's ChatGPT rolled out last December, Workers have been using the AI tool to help with their jobs, but now one user is trying to turn prompts into riches. So this guy, Jackson, is a brand designer and writer. He took to Twitter last week to share a prompt that he gave the chatbot. He said in the tweet, he says, you have $100 and your goal is to turn that into as much money as possible in the shortest time possible without doing anything illegal. Uh, adding that he would be the human counterpart and do everything that the chatbot instructed him to do. That seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> uh, after a number of subsequent queries, the bot instructed Great House Fall to launch a business called Green Gadget Guru, which offers products and tips to help people live more sustainably. So he gave it a $100 budget. Now, thanks to ChatGPT, he said that he managed to raise $1,378 for his company in just one day. The company is now valued at $25,000, according to a tweet by Great House Fall, as of Monday, he said that his business had generated $130 in revenue. He also used AI to build a professional looking website for his business. And the site includes mock products like green gadgets and sustainable kitchenware. He said he's open to manufacturing products or selling existing products for commissions if the chat bot tells him to. He says, we're actively exploring partnerships to sell some of those things. And TLDR, I'm about to be rich, he tweeted. <laughs> so. Dave, uh, Dave. <laughs> so James, let's talk about this. Uh, interesting concept, right? He was able to turn a hundred bucks into 13, almost $1,400 in one day. And if you value that as his company, his website is worth like $25,000. Yeah, we'll see. You know, it, it all depends on sales. But what are your thoughts on this idea of just saying, hey, ChatGPT, make me rich? Well, there's several different parts of this that I think that are interesting. Whether or not his his company is worth that is, is another story. But number one, $100 to 1300 and some odd dollars, first of all, is amazing. Here's what I really like about this. One, he's using ChatGPT. Of course, we're all about making money with AI on this channel. But he also put his journey online. So just like we're talking about what people are doing and we're talking about what we're doing, people really resonate that, not only on this channel, but anywhere. So he went on Twitter and said, here's what I'm trying to do. And that in and of itself, people want to see, well, how's he doing? And I've seen that done all by all kinds of different people. Yep. So that in and of itself, he's doing like a crowdfunding. He's like, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to turn $100 into 1300 I have an idea. And people are saying, okay, I'll, I'll crowdfund that. I'll help put money into that idea. That's yep. what Shark Tank used to be like in the beginning. In the beginning, the first season of Shark Tank, people would go on there and say, I have this idea. And, and people would say, oh, okay, yeah, I'll invest in that idea. Now it's not that way. If you watch Shark Tank now, it's like, how much money are you making? You're making exactly. nothing? Go away. You're making a million? All right, I'll give you X amount of that. It's just all this numbers game. But this is kind of like Kickstarter in a sense that you're going back to the purest form. I have an idea. Do you want to support that? So that in and of itself, I really like. The second thing is, of course, if you can use ChatGPT to, to build your website and to do some of this functional stuff or give you ideas, of course do that. We, we love that. It's a, it's a great tool for that. But then you look at something else. If you start looking at numbers, again, I don't know if his valuation is correct, but in general, that's how a lot of big money works. It's not often about the revenue. It's not often... It really doesn't matter how much money you put into it. But if you're getting so much money put into it, you have certain numbers, you have these valuations that people on sites like Flippa, F-L-I-P-P-A.com, among others, will pay you for sites that are getting traffic, that are getting a certain amount of revenue. So it's very possible that someone could put in $100, $1,000, and because of the views that something's getting, or because of potentially the revenue it already has, 
they do these valuations. Well, if it's getting so much a month, let's multiply that by four. Let's multiply that by five. And therefore, this site is bringing in X revenue, which might not be a lot. $1,000 might not seem a lot, but it's very possible that someone might give you $25,000 for that. So when you start to break it down like that, yes, it's very possible that you could take $100 and make something, a website worth $25,000 very quickly using the power of ChatGPT, using the power of social media to build a following, to build something like that. That's the, my <laughs> takeaway from this. Well, what you just said is genius. Um, and you just really extrapolated what he's doing and what we've seen other people do. They're using Twitter as like a megaphone to blast out an idea, right? And then because I guess Twitter gets so much engagement, a lot of people are coming going, hey, I'll, I'll throw some money in there. I'll, throw, I'll try that. Let's just like, almost like for fun, let's help fund this thing, right? And so that's kind of an interesting dynamic. It doesn't happen very often in business where somebody just for fun or as a on a whim, they say, hey, I'll, I'll give you X amount to, to fund this uh, because they want to see the end result or they want to feel like they're part of something you know that has happened. And then, as you said, and the, I had not put this together before, to be able to take that initial, like, let's call it a, a, a bud of an idea and put it on Flippa or one of these other website selling websites and sell it right away because it has all that buzz and right that right now, it may not have that buzz two or three months from now or a year from now, but right now it's got a lot of buzz. So you could use that buzz to increase the value of that website and sell it right away. And so I, I could just imagine like people doing this like quick flip, quick flip, quick flip websites by generating the same kind of buzz. That's a strategy in its own right, what we were just talking about. And uh, I think it deserves more time to share, like so many of the people that we highlight on this channel have used Twitter to that effect, that high level effect, where for some reason, Twitter seems to be that megaphone that, that blasts out the idea. And I think being very straightforward and that's the great thing about coming up with an idea. Your idea may end up failing, but you're saying, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm trying to do. And people jump on board. They 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 don't. But when you're, a, a lot of people like that journey as opposed to the end result. So uh, I think it's smart, that concept. I hope uh, the person watching this or the people watching this, maybe this gets their brain going and thinking about these kind of things that you don't have to have $100,000 to get into something you absolutely can start off with a hundred dollars and it could be worth a lot more very quickly yeah and right before we go I, I just had this other thought and that is what if you tied it to an actual kickstarter campaign what if you ask chat gpt give me some examples or, or create this into an amazing viral kickstarter campaign that everybody would want to participate in what are the rewards that you can give for people investing x amount or more you know and now you combine twitter with ChatGPT's advice with a Kickstarter, and now you're funding a company uh, basically out of nothing uh, from scratch. So uh, I think there's so much here to be explored. And of course, we'll be doing that as we go through these other videos in the future.